Hey everyone, John here, and welcome back to the Toy Box. So today we're going to do another Pokemon trading card game unboxing. So this time we're going to be unboxing the latest X and Y uh, series, which is Fates Collide. So today we're going to be unboxing the Elite Trainer Box featuring Meg Mega Alakazam. So let's take a look at the back. So if you want to look at the story for, for uh, Fates Collide, it says here, Mega Alakazam EX sees the future and shapes it to unify two worlds. The legendary Pokemon Zygarde arrives in many different forms to bring order, together with Lugia Break, Mega Altaria EX, and Umbreon EX. Fates are sealed, and two Pokemon worlds join together in the Pokemon trading card game. The X and Y Fates Collide Expansion. So, this sounds pretty cool, and I actually like the sound of uh, this Umbreon EX here. I hope I get one. So... What's in the box? Let's take a look. We have 8 Pokemon Trading Card Game XY Fates Collide Booster Packs, 65 Card Sleeves featuring Mega Alakazam, 45 Pokemon TCG Energy Cards, a Player's Guide to the X and Y Fates Collide Expansion, 6 Damage Counter Dice, 1 Competition Legal Coin Flip Die, 2 Acrylic Condition Markers, a Collector's Book to hold everything with 4 Dividers to keep it organized, and a code card for the Pokemon trading card game online. So, let's go ahead and start opening the box. Let's see everything inside. There we go. Let's get the plastic out. Alright. So, here we go. So here's the outside of the box. And there's the inside. Oh, dropped something already. Here we go. It looks like this is the player's guide, so I guess we'll be looking at this part first. So it looks just like an, an instruction manual. Um, if you if you play the the trading card game. Oh, it actually has a list in here. Also, here we have a list of all the individual Pokemon you can get. I've never gotten one of these boxes before, so this is pretty new to me, but so, but this is awesome. So if you're a collector, then this is definitely something nice to have. So, that's the, uh, the player's guide. So let's take a look at the box. That's a piece of cardboard. So it looks like if the box opens this way. And as you can see, everything is inside. So we have energy cards. Looks like we have the eight booster packs right here. So there's four. There's four right here. You can already see we have Mega Alakazam right here on the cover. We have Delphox, Lugia, and these look like break evolutions. And there's a Zygarde, looks like the full form. We have... Are these... These are the dividers. I'll be giving you this code card later. Here is the... These are the trading card game sleeves. We have the die. We have two markers. And the last three trading card game packs are right here. So it looks like we get two of each of each Pokemon. So first we can take a look at the box. So you have it in here. I assume the you can put in the dividers any way you feel like it. Put these dividers like this. You have Fates Collide on one side, and you have Mel Yalakazam on the other. So then next, let's take a look at the damage counter. Or, I'm sorry, the uh, status counter. So we have two coins. These are solid plastic, so they're pretty sturdy. There's one, and there's the the poison. I'm not sure what this one stands for. 
but this is I know this is poison. So here we go. Those are the two coins. Now next we have some dye. And this one looks like the uh, the coin flip die it looks like. And we have the other six uh, damage counter die. Which I think I would like these a lot better than the than the old uh, stones that you put in the game. This is the ones you get before in the old sets. I think I like the die better. It's easier to... You get more room on the board. So next, let's take a look at the sleeves. So some of the... Some of the people I knew when I used to play Pokemon cards would always keep their their cards in the sleeves. I never really did that, but it's something you can do to protect your cards if you want to keep them in really good condition but still play. So that's how each sleeve looks like. Um, you have uh, the back, the Mega Alakazam on the back, and then it's clear on the other side so that you can see your card. I'll fit. I'll fit a card in there um, when I open them all. So next it looks like we get 45 energy cards. Um, so let's take a look at what we've got. So first we have the water energies. I actually don't see a symbol on the bottom right hand corner so these, it doesn't look like these energy cards are specific to uh, Fates Collide. But here we go, there's psychic energies. There's five. We have steel. Three, four, five. Next we have electric. One, two, three, four, five. We have grass. One, two, three, four, five. We have fire. One, two, three, four, five. We have fighting. One, two, three, four, five. Dark. One, two, three, four, five. And lastly, we have fairy. One, two, three, four. Oh, we only have four. I guess I'm missing one. But anyway, that's not really important right now. And if you want to see, we can use the, one of the energy cards as an example. This is how the cards will fit in the sleeve if you've never used them before. So you have the card right here. On the back, you have your Mega Alakazam. So you can play your Pokemon trading card games in style. So those are the energy cards. And now lastly, we get to the most exciting part of the unboxing, which are the booster packs. So we get two of the Mega Alakazams, we have two of the Zygarde's, two Lugias, and two Delphoxes. So let's go ahead, let's open up the Delphox packages first. So, booster pack number one. Okay. Here we go. Number one, the first card of the series, Whismur. And I actually like, love this Pokemon. I raised one in my third generation games. Fennekin. Vullaby. I always thought this Pokemon looked kind of funny, but that's just me. Larvitar. Cottony. And we've got our first... Uh, Holographic, a reverse holographic of the of the series is Fairy Drop. Heal 50 damage from one of your Pokemon that has any fairy energy attached to it. Well, pretty nice. And looks like it's our first full art EX card. We have Audino. So this one's pretty cool. Let's see. 180 HP from the top. And the moves are Drain Slap. Heal 20 damage from this Pokemon, so you do 20 damage and you also heal damage from that the Pokemon took, so that's pretty cool. And the next one is Do the Wave. 
60 plus damage. This attack does 10 more damage for each of your benched Pokemon. Wow, so this can really stack up. So that's pretty cool. So this is our first EX card of the series. So let's go ahead and let's have Throwbird hold this one right here. There you go, there's Adino. So next, Loudred. Oh nice, it got Whismur and now Loudred. Hopefully I can get Explode and have the whole series. Next, Bent Spoon. And this one looks pretty cool. Prevent all effects from your opponent's attacks except damage done to this Pokemon. Or done to the Pokemon this card is attached to. So this is cool. This looks like it's right in line with the uh, with Mega Alakazam. And lastly for this one we have Dugong. Okay, so now the first booster pack is done. And for five seconds only, I have the code card so that you can claim a booster pack online. So remember all these uh, codes are one time use only so the first person who gets it congratulations and if you get anything good let me know I'm always interested let me know in the comment section below so here it is this is the first code cool so that was booster pack number one now let's go for the second Del Fox pack Okay, so first, Jigglypuff. Next, Gothita. Next, Meowth. Now this Meowth looks kind of funny. This actually looks like Team Rocket's Meowth. Next, Snivy. Solosis. Oh, now it looks like we have a, another Reverse Hollow. There's Marowak. So what is this move? What is his ability? Bodyguard prevents all effects of attacks done to you or your hand by your opponent's Pokemon. Remove any existing effects. Okay. And his move is Boomerang. Flip two coins. The attack does 60 t damage times the number of heads. Also, this one's kind of risky. It has a chance of doing nothing. Next one, Rodham. Next, we have energy, energy Reset. Put as many energy attached to your Pokemon as you like into your hand. Pretty cool. Next, Pupitar. And last, we have Shauna. And that's the end of the booster pack. So now it's time, five seconds only, one more code. And here we go. Next one. So, I guess next, let's do Lugias. So we're going to open the first Lugia pack. We started off pretty well already. We already have an Audino EX card. So let's see if we can get anything else. It's already starting off pretty good, guys. So first, Gothita. Next, Binnacle. Next, huh, I got another Meowth. Now he gave, this one looks funny. So let's see, what's actually what's his move? Turmoil Strike. This attack does 50 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. Don't apply weakness and resistance for bench Pokemon. So as long as any of your Pokemon any of the Pokemon are damaged, this Pokemon can go ahead and do damage. So Meowth can take a cheap shot at one of your bench Pokemon. Interesting. Now we have Whismur. Mincino. Weezing, a reverse hollow Weezing. I actually like Weezing. He's pretty cool. Next, Bronsong. And now we have a special energy card. This is strong energy. This energy can only be attached to fighting Pokemon. This card provides fighting energy only while this card is attached to a fighting Pokemon. The attacks of the fighting Pokemon this card is attached to do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Cool, this looks like a pretty good card. Now we have Cincino, so we have both Mincino and Cincino. And now we have another Trainer Drop. And that's the end of the third pack, which means it's time for another code. Here we go. 
Pretty cool. Hope you guys get something good. So, fourth pack, the last Lugia pack. Next one, Snubble. Yeah, it looks like this Snubble got into a little bit of trouble. Knocked everything off the table there, didn't you? Then Snivy. Next, Solosis. Next, Gothita. Mincino. Now oh, we have a reverse holographic seal. So now I have the Seal and Dugong set. Cool. Motham. Wormadam first. What is the ability? As often as you like during your turn, before you attack, you may move one damage counter from one of your Wormadam to another one of your Pokemon. Pokemon Fan Club. And oh, there. Now we have a Wormadam. And lastly... Looks like we have a Zygarde already. So this is, this looks like a Zygarde's 10% form, if I ever have that name right. So this is pretty cool. We haven't had access to these in the game yet, but uh, hopefully we do soon. And that's the end of the fourth pack. It's time for the fourth code. And I hope you guys get something good out of this. If you do, let me know in the comments section below. I'm always interested. So the next one, we have Zygarde's and we have Alakazam's. Which one should we do first? Uh, let's leave the Alakazam's for the last. Since Alakazam's the one who predicted everything and all that. So, we'll do, Al we'll do Zygarde's first. Alright, so, pack number five. Vullaby. Larvitar. Cotney. And we have coughing. So now we've got the coughing and wheezing set. Spoink. And now Gothita. And this one looks like a reverse hollow one, so it's probably rarer than the ones I've been getting already. The next, Moltres. Oh, so we have a legendary Pokemon in here. That's what his, his second move do, Flying Flare. 80 plus, you may do 40 more damage. If you do, this Pokemon does 20 damage to itself. So 120 damage in total. That's a pretty strong attack. So, Omanite, one of the, le uh, not legendary, one of the ancient Pokemon. Whimsicott. And Duosion. And it's time for code card number five. Here we go. And that is the fifth pack. So, second Zygarde pack. Hopefully we get another rare card to join with Audino EX over there. Hope I didn't jinx myself earlier. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. Coughing. Mincino. Oh, we don't have a Diglett yet. Here we go. There's Diglett. And this is very simple. Ram. Easy to understand. Riolu. Another one that's pretty easy to understand. Smash Punch. Oh, actually, this one has a condition. Flip a coin. If tails, this attack does nothing. Ooh. Now we have Carbink. Oh, now I have a Reverse Hollow of Wormadam. And now Aerodactyl. This Aerodactyl actually looks pretty cool. Look at the picture, it's like he's looking over the entire city of where he wants to go. So this is and I think it's also restored from an old amber. And we have Laudrid. Kabuto. So we have a bunch of ancient Pokemon in this in this particular pack. And we have one more Wormadam. This is the Steel type. So this one is a Steel. We're just missing the Grass Wormadam. So we've already got 
the two of the warmer dams. We just need the grass warmer dam. And we've got Motham also. We just need Burmy also. And here's the code card. So this is code card number six. Hope you guys get something good. And now, pack number seven. Now we're on the Mega Alakazam packs. Doesn't he look mean in this picture? Maybe not mean. More like he looks looks kind of evil in this picture. I don't know. It's just my opinion. So let's open. Okay. Card number one. Whismer. Next, Mincino. Next, Cottony. Next, Solosis. Vullaby. And now we have a reverse hollow Riolu. Oh. We have a holographic Tyranitar. This is a dark type Pokemon. So this one is pretty insane. Look, his attack takes five dark energies, but it's 150 plus. So let's read this. Dark Mountain. Discard the top two cards of your deck. This attack does 50 more damage for each supporter card discarded in this way. So this attack could potentially do 250 damage. I don't even know if there are any Pokemon that have that much HP. But this is a really, a really strong attack. And this is a pretty cool card. So let's have Flareon hold this one. Next we have Energy Reset, Puppetar, and actually with that we got Larvitar before, we have Puppetar, and we also have Tyranitar, so we have the whole set there. And we have Wormadam, and 7th Code card, here we go. And now we have one pack left, hopefully let's get a rare card in here, so let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, there we go. Okay. First we have Fennekin. It looks like Fennekin's running with Chikorita there. In the background. I got another Whismur. We have the Seal. Cottony. Riolu. Now we have a reverse hollow Vullaby. Pretty cool. So we got a rare version of the Vullaby card. Now we have Lucario. So now we have the the completed set of Riolu and Lucario for this set. We have Devolution Spray. Devolve one of your evolved Pokemon and put the highest age evolution card into your hand. There is Cincino, and the very last card is a special energy, double colorless energy. It's pretty simple. This card just provides two colorless energies. And here is the eighth code card. And there we go. And that looks like that covers the box. The last thing is there is one more code card for this box, and this is to get the XY10 Elite Trainer Box Mega Alakazam. So here's the code. Remember, the code is only usable once. So whoever gets it, congratulations. I hope you enjoy. And if you get anything good, then let me know in the comments section below. I'm always interested. And there's the code. So that covers the, the Pokemon trading card game Fates Collide Elite Trainer Box. So the Elite Trainer Box was pretty cool. I might consider getting another one. Getting another one for a future for a future release, for a future expansion, not for the Fates Collide again. But uh it's pretty cool. You get eight booster packs, a bunch of energy cards. The energy cards are really good if you want to build decks. If you're just collecting, I don't know, maybe you want to go with booster packs by themselves. But it's up to you. I think it's all good either way. And let's let once again look at the highlights of our unboxing. We have Audino EX, and we have Tyranitar. So it's a pretty cool Pokemon. So I'm pretty happy with this haul. So I hope you enjoyed this video. 
As always, leave your comments in the comment section below. If you do get this trainer box or any other booster packs and you get something good, let me know. I'm, be, I'm always interested to see what other people get. And I'm always happy to hear that someone, someone gets a pretty rare card for their collection. And remember to check us out on social media. Um, Twitter, Instagram, links are in the description. And as always, rate, subscribe, and don't stop playing.